little snap it's a dark film today it's not that gloomy but it is pretty dark yeah. Yeah, too damn gloomy and dark hold on one second blinds nope oh. hey blinds are so outdated let's get some new up to date shit or something there you go. You still can't see me. Um, I come to you today saddened because they found this little girl's body out here in the suitcase somewhere. Um, it's, it's a sad day because you got grown ass people preying on children. It wasn't some little kid to put a little kid in a suitcase and kill her or whatever. I don't know what happened. And to be honest with you, I really don't care. Nobody should be killed, especially a child. The, the death of a child is actually a crime against the future, you know, because we don't know what these kids can do. We don't know what these kids will be. We don't know how these kids are going to turn out. But I know one thing, and this is one thing I know, a crime against a child is a crime against the future. See what I'm saying? Um, it's pitiful. Now, these people, I think it's a minister from the church or whatever. Um, he was a suspect, apparently. They, they searched everybody who lived in the trailer park, to, to checking them down, I mean, towing the cars away, the whole thing, to search to find out who killed this child. And what disturbed me about the whole thing is the lady saying, oh, I have no problem with them coming in and searching. I understand why she has no problem with them searching because they're innocent. And, you know, hey, by all power, you know what I mean? You find who this killer is, you know, of this child. But when you have people say publicly, it's fine for you to come search my house or it's fine for you to come take things out of my home or whatever my whole problem with it's fine with, with the law enforcement's coming in your house and everything is because you don't know who's coming in your house you don't know what their alternative motives is one of the police officers in that county could have done this crime to this child I don't know I'm not saying the cop did it I'm not saying anybody did it but what if one of these cops in this county had did this and go up in your house and, you know, looking for something and, hey, happen to find something? You never know. And once again, I'm going to say a word your wishes correctly. But, you know, yes, by all means, find the murderer of this child. But when it comes to the, to the citizens just opening their doors, and let anybody in. So, um, so I, I don't know. It's kind of, it's 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 hurting because you want them to find the murderer of this child, but you don't want people to freely give away uh, rights. Because once people freely give their rights away, then it'll be real easy for people to say, you know what, hey. They don't care if they go in, your, in their house. Why you? Okay, you don't want us in your house. You got a problem. Obviously, there's something wrong in your house, so we got to come in and, and take all your shit. Look through your shit. You know what I mean? We have to take you down because you wouldn't allow us in your house. Whenever people will defy them, they, they will take that... that that defiance as guilt. Oh, we can't search. You're guilty of something. And we won't stop until we find it. Period. By all means, find the killer of this child. But not at the expense of innocence. A crime against a child is a crime against the future. 
period. No eight-year-old girl should be found in somebody's suitcase out in the middle of a field anywhere at any day or any time in American history from today forth. No child need die. You know, people can barely feed their kids. People can barely keep clothes on their kids' backs. And now they have to worry again more and more often about other grown-ass people and, in some cases, other children killing their kids. A crime against a child is a crime against the future. So, I'm saddened because the little girl was found dead. I'm saddened because people were like, hey, go ahead and search my house. Without some form of defiance, we're no more than lemmings. And like I said, when I was in court, I need my identification back. Because I don't want somebody to find my ID on somebody's crime scene. I received a court order telling these people to return my identification. I took them the court order down to the police station to get my identification back, and it has not been returned to me. Period. The judge says, why do they have your ID, sir? It was confiscated during the arrest, I said, Your Honor. Oh, well, they should have returned it to you when you were released, my attorney says. I can't get benefits without uh, ID. And then I know this is YouTube, so we're going to have people like Jim Riley and his goon squad say, yes, it's your fault. They took your ID. It's your fault. You shouldn't get it back. Get over it. Go buy another one. In this economy, man, you don't want nobody to take your car. And then all of a sudden, in California, if your car is towed mandatorily, it's mandatory that your car be held for 30 days at $125 to $180 per day. How many people you actually think gets their cars back? Not many. So... When you look at the overall big picture, the biggest picture, we can't allow these laws and officers to take anything from us. We can't even allow, we truly can't allow them to search our homes without someone to stand right over their shoulder to watch what they do. Uh, let me tell you something else that these uh, AIX debunkers are going to try to break out next. The other day, a man was telling me, the police pulled him over, noticed he had a camera in the inside of his car, a dash camera, pretty much like the cops have. They told him it was illegal to have a dash camera in his car, confiscated the car, and they didn't put this down on any piece of paper. They didn't document any reason why they took this man's vehicle, but they told him it was illegal for you to have cameras in the inside of your car. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of this guy again and see whatever happened, see if he ever got his car back, see if his rights were ever restored. Things are brewsting, and we don't know why. But when the shit goes down, a whole bunch of unprepared people will cry. If you find any knowledge in this, pass it on. And my condolences go out to that little girl, her family, her friends, and what would have been her future. May we all find a little angel looking over us in the coming years. Please. Love somebody.